Welcome! In this video, we will look at how to change the background colour of a cell in a table dependent upon how far away a deadline is compared to today's date. This is our data set. We have five projects with different milestones which must be met by specified dates. We want to highlight those with a deadline looming. The rules we will use are, if the deadline is passed, we will colour the cell grey. If the deadline is five days or less from today, we colour it red. If the deadline is six to ten days away, we colour it yellow. And if the deadline is between 11 and 14 days away, we colour it green. Else, we leave the background of the cell blank. Using four different colours may sound complicated to do, but it's easy using a switch statement. To begin with, I will create a new measure. And in that measure, we will calculate the number of days between today's date and our deadline. So new measure. I will call my measure date difference. and say it equals the function date diff, open bracket, and I want to know the difference between today, so I select today, comma, then max, and I want to know the maximum date I've got to do the task. And in my data, we have a column called deadline, which contains our deadline dates. So that's what we want the maximum of. So tasks, deadline, close the brackets, comma, and we now select day because we want to count the number of days between now and our deadline. Select day, close the brackets, and then click the tick mark to create the measure. That's that done, nice and simple. Now we just need to create our switch statement to allow us to change colours. Our switch statement is quite easy to do because in essence, all we're saying is if the deadline is X amount of days away, colour it Y colour, that's all. To do this, we create a new measure. I will call my measure switch colours equals switch and at this point I'm going to put in my closing bracket so I don't forget about it then insert my cursor between the brackets and put in a few empty rows then we type in true comma and the reason we're putting in true here is we only want our code to execute if it finds a true statement. If it doesn't find a true statement, it should execute without doing any action. All will become a lot clearer in a moment. Bear with me. To begin with, we want, if our deadline has passed, for the cell to be coloured grey. The first thing we do is bring in the measure we created earlier date difference and we say if it's less than zero comma we want to color the cell gray and for the colors i'm going to use hex codes so therefore i need to put in open double quotes hashtag and for gray i will be using the color b e b e b e then I need to close my double quotes and comma. We now need to just repeat the same for the other colours. So if our measure date difference is less than or equal to five, comma, we want to colour it red. So open double quotes, hashtag, and for red, I'm going to use FF0000, close my quote marks, comma, then 
Again, date difference. If it's less than or equal to 10, we would like to color it yellow. So for yellow, I'm going to use FFCC00. Close my double quotes, comma. And we want to say that if our date difference is less than or equal to 14, comma, color it green. Open double quotes, hashtag. And for green, I'm going to use 33CC33. All we now need to do is create the measure by clicking the tick mark. I'm going to just take a moment to recap what is actually happening in the process here. Our field, Tasks, Deadlines, contains the deadlines for all of our projects at all stages. That gets fed into our measure, Date Difference, which works out the number of days between today and our deadline. The result, which comes out of that process, gets fed into our switch statement. And what happens is the value that comes in goes to the top of the switch statement and it keeps going through each line of code until it finds a true statement. And if it doesn't find a true statement, it executes and does nothing. So as an example, if our deadline was nine days away, nine would come in at the top and it would look to find true. So we go to this first line of code and say, am I less than zero? And the answer is no, I'm greater than zero. Nine's greater than zero. So I move on to the next line of code. Am I less than or equal to five? Again, no. So again, it moves on to the next row of code. Am I less than or equal to 10? And the answer is yes. So I colour myself yellow, being the FFCC00. Then I stop. I do not continue on to the next line of code. I find my true statement. That's it. I stop. All that's now left for us to do is for us to apply the colour to the background of the table. And to do that, all you need to do is make sure that your table is selected. Go to values and where you see earliest deadline. All I need to do is go conditional formatting, background color. In the pop-up box, which appears rather than formant style gradient, we click the drop down and select field value. And in the box which appears saying what field should we base this on, you click the drop down and we just find our new measure, switch colours, select that and press OK. And as you can see, our colours of our table change. That's us done. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.